All right. Well, thanks for joining me. My name is Mark Ryan, and I'm going to show a little example of how you can adapt a couple of LangChain tutorials to work with Vertex AI. So these two tutorials in particular are one on Pinecone and one on Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. So working in the Google Cloud shell, in the editor in particular, I've made a couple of updates to the code that's in both of these tutorials. I'll highlight what those updates are and show you how those can work. So we'll start by looking in the file that's called Pinecone Basics and a couple of changes here. First is I defined a Vertex AI embeddings object. We're going to need that to define the embeddings for this particular item. And then I want to create an index and down here creating the index for Pinecone, one change here is the dimension. So embeddings in Vertex are have a dimension of 768 versus the dimension for OpenAI, which is what's in the default for this particular tutorial. And let's see what else needs to be updated here. And that's basically the change that needed to be made. So now we're going to go and run this. This will set up the uh, Pinecone part of the RAG tutorial. So now I'm running the code for the Pinecone Basics tutorial. It's asking me for my Pinecone key. So you get this from the Pinecone environment. I'm going to copy and paste it in here. And then it's going to ask for the Pinecone environment, which I also get from Pinecone. And now it should run. It's going to take a few minutes. So we'll come back when it's done. So it took a few tries, but we were able to create the index, the Pinecone index successfully. One of the things that was uh, that required a few tries is if you run this code more than once and you're using the free version of Pinecone, then you need to go into Pinecone and delete the existing index. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck. You're going to get an error. So I had to go into Pinecone and delete the existing index. Once I had done that, I was able to run that code successfully to completion. So now that I've got a Pinecone index defined, I can go into the other code, RAG tutorial, and look at the changes that were made here. So as I did in the creating the index, I have defined a Vertex AI embeddings object. And updated the index definition. Now, if the index doesn't exist, it will try to create one. Since it does exist, it will not actually create one. And then the key thing here is defining an LLM object. And that is right here. So import Vertex AI and define a Vertex AI LLM object. And those were the code changes required in the RAG tutorial Python file. Now we're going to move over to the terminal and run this and see what the results are. So now we are running the RAG tutorial Python file. We had to enter the Pinecone. And here is the result of running the RAG, of running the uh, RAG tutorial Python. Again, I made a mistake. I had a new or different name for the Pinecone index defined in this Python file. And it was complaining because I was trying to create another Pinecone index. So once I had changed it so it matched the name of the Pinecone index that I had created previously, um, going back into the code, you can see 
here if the index exists it will not try to create it again and with that it was able to run and going back here we can see that we actually got an output that we expected to get and this shows that we can have a simple adaptation of the tutorials these Langchain tutorials the one for pinecone and the one for rag and with just a few changes uh, a couple of changes to define some objects related to Vertex AI, we can run them using Vertex AI embeddings. Thanks for watching and see you next time.